Beginning with that first year, all of us at Sunday morning have been on the move. Few more than our Lee Cowan, who's here to log our travels. Good morning, Lee. Good morning, Jane. You can sort of think of this broadcast almost like a Sunday drive. For 40 years, we've meandered from exotic destinations to the mundane, from out of the way places to our very own backyards, so that you could enjoy the view without moving an inch. I have miles and miles ahead of me. We stick to the back roads, which are full of surprises. Sunday morning was born in part out of an affliction, Charles Corral's incurable case of wanderlust. When Francis Johnson started saving twine, he just couldn't help himself. It's just crazy. Well, you don't have to be crazy, but it helps a lot. <laughs> On any given Sunday, his itinerary could take you from the largest ball of twine in Minnesota to the historic attempt to unravel communism in Beijing. It's become something much deeper and stronger. Giant sequoia trees in California Sierra are more than 2,000 years old. In our 40 years, we've tried to maintain that tradition, hoping that each new dot on a map might reveal a new side of ourselves. The total darkness and harsh winters make it nearly impossible to maintain a year-round camp. We've seen the adventurous spirit of tourists exploring the top of the world and the determination of freezing scientists researching the bottom of it, too. We witnessed the wisdom of setting nature aside as we trek through our national parks, 59 of them in all. Walking across sand and soil, from the lowest point in the United States to the base of our highest peak. From the brilliant pastels of Holland's tulips, colors only Mother Nature can paint, we've marveled at the palette of the globe, even the shades of space. Is it a spiritual experience? It is very spiritual. As the heavens go, we haven't gone, but we've gotten pretty close. A visit to the Vatican might suffice. The holiness, St. Francis of Assisi, Zuleika. And we bathed in the voices of angels. It was Christmas night, 1776. Even joining the throng once or twice. The Canary Islands have a song of their own in a whistle carried on the wind. It's a language born long ago that we learned to be quite a mouthful. Keep practicing, Tracy. We've seen the charm of children on the frigid shores of Iceland, lending their hands to help wayward puffins take their first flights out to sea. We encountered some wayward polar bears, too, some a little too close for comfort. Mike, Mike. There were more cats than we could count on an island off Japan. We've sailed the oceans on ships of old and aboard the ships of tomorrow. Instead of lookouts, you now have video monitors. We don't have to have sailors do it. We have cameras do it for us. It looks pretty vintage. It is vintage. It's actually made out of real wood. Yeah, you don't find that in aviation anymore. We've soared above stadiums in the Goodyear blimp and hovered over cities with a photographer who preferred his helicopter have no doors. It's like when you're literally leaning out over the edge of the chopper. You forget about it after a while. We've rolled on the rails of the Maharaja's Express as it chugged through northern I've India. And we've taken the wheel in vehicles ourselves. Handles like a dream. Of every shape and size. But now, in trying to turn this ancient capital into a modern one, every year brings strong. Along the way, we've stopped off at places that illegal. caught our fancy. This building, the Guggenheim Museum on New York's Fifth Avenue, is one of the greatest buildings of the 20th century. Museums you've heard of, 
It's the Elvis is Alive Museum. And those you probably haven't. National Pie Championships. The World Beard and Mustache Championships. And competitions. Now there's an experienced camel rider. That might leave you wondering. Are you ready for some pumpkin racing? For 40 years, we've had the privilege of watching the sun set all over the world. The only thing better than its parting rays is knowing the next day we get to set out all over again.